Chicago. Gun violence in the city is spiraling out of control. And the majority of victims, young, black, men and women. Lee McCullen Jr. was murdered on the 12th of May, making him the 29th person killed in Chicago that month. Lee had been found in his mother's car with multiple gunshot wounds to the head. I thought it was going to be easy for me to say what I want to say, so just bear with me. That don't supposed to be. That don't supposed to be. Ain't nowhere in the world that's supposed to be. I've been out here in these streets all my life, shooting, came back, I got 21 years invested in prison, I've been left for dead, thrown in the garbage can. That don't fall to me! That's supposed to be me! This don't make me no man! This don't make me no bitch! This don't make you tough! He make you tough! Be a man! Be a man! All right, Shalom. First, let's start by saying all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, that will honor to the elders and apostles that rule well, and salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth of sincerity. Now, um, as you can see, you know, the gun violence is getting out of control in Chicago, you know. Um, and it probably is not as worse as they say it is, you know, due to the fact that the media try to hype everything up, you know, for their agenda, but we know that the Lord is going to turn that up. Uh, times a thousand coming soon. But back to what he was saying, he said that don't supposed to be, um, you know, the young boy dying, and, you know, I guess they presumed that he was innocent, you know, but the scriptures say, uh, you know, uh, the Lord killers make it the live one. Two, um, there are, there is no one that's innocent, man. Especially, you know, you pay for the sins that you have done in your previous life, in the life we're living now today. So said the Bible, man. You know, so dude dying is part of prophecy. You know, the Lord said, uh, my children, people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I also reject thee. Right? So, Israel don't know who they are, man. That's why they end up in situations such as this, man. 
And then they reject knowledge. You got brothers in Chicago prophesying. And they've been prophesying for the longest of time, man. So, you know, this clip came out May 5th, 2018. You know, a lot of these shooting deaths were done before that time, uh, you know, um, or during the time that the brothers was out there doing this truth, man. So, you know, it's all up to the Lord, man. If it was meant for them to come in, they would have came in. But it looks like the Lord had them angels reserved for them to put them to, put them to death because we had two thirds that's supposed to be cut off, man. But this is Hosea chapter four and six. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I also reject thee. Thou shalt be no priest to me. Right. That's why he ain't out there doing the work, because the Lord rejected him. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I also will forget thy children. Right. So the Lord gonna get them and their children. It just don't stop with this young man, nor the young woman that they, that they, they gonna speak on, man. The Lord said two thirds was supposed to have been cut off, man. And if they gotta go by way of um being gunned down in the streets, it says in the Amos, thy son shall fall by the sword. That's that's what they get. That's what's coming to them, man. They don't want to hear the truth. They want to scoff, mock, or walk past. You know, they want to do everything but the truth, man. They rather be homosexuals, transgenders, lesbians, join fraternities, you know, commit adultery. They rather do all that instead of coming back to the Heavenly Father to be delivered from the coming destruction and be raised up as a king in the kingdom of heaven, you know, with spiritual power and stuff, man. You know, although Israel is going to make it on the other side, but I rather, you know, Make it on this side, you know. This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. It says, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Right? So two thirds of Israel are going to be put to death. But the third shall be left therein, but one third is going to be saved. And I will bring the third part through the fire, but they're going to be tested and will refine them as silver is refined. Right? So the Lord's elect. Yeah, right. So we have the elect is going to go through the tribulation to in you know, the, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, to be refined. And we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, Yahweh Shai, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they will, shall say the Lord is my power. Right. So two thirds supposed to be getting cut off and dying and ending up in these situations on these uh BBC uh channels and shit, man. And um one third is supposed to be saved and edifying everybody and getting everybody uh, ready for the coming day. So. So with him being so naturally gifted at sports, do you think that that could have been a part of his future? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It just hurts that he's gone. And I feel like I failed because he lost his life. He did fail, man. You know, the scriptures say, uh, teach that you're supposed to teach your sons this law, man. Teach, teach them to understand the wisdom of understanding of these scriptures. You know, that that's what make you a man. That's what you can teach your son. You know, the scriptures say, uh, this is your wisdom, knowledge, and Deuteronomy. In the sight of the nations, man. You know, so if you're not teaching your kids this understanding, then, you know, you are feeling as a father. But a lot of, a lot of these older jakes be getting skipped over, and it's meant for their sons to get it. You know, because the Lord don't deal with putting uh, new wine into old bottles, man. But, you know, it's all of uh, whoever the Lord chose as his elect, man. So... me or anything because I don't you know I don't know what his last moments like was he still alive when he was laying on the ground none of that 
The last thing you want is retaliation on your son's behalf. But you can't stop these kids from doing something. You can only tell no, them what you, you can't, like. you can't, you can't. See, you just, you just hope and pray that no retaliation happens. You let the police do what they need to do. Let them do an investigation. Let they do what they got to do. So you think the kids won't listen to you? These friends? I hope they listen. But if they don't, you know, that's the road they have to go down. You know, we're on a main street that has potholes all over it, and every other shop is closed down. There's a building over there that's blocked up. This is a place that is sending signals to kids that no one cares about this area. And I guess it sends the signal that no one really cares about you. So what does that lead to? If you're a child and you're continuously being told by everything you're surrounded by that you don't matter. <laughs> by the time you're in your teens or early 20s, why are you going to care about your own life? Let alone somebody else's. What hope is there for Chicago? In a city plagued by police brutality and the chaos of black-on-black -black violence, who'll speak up for the next generation? Prop is supposed to speak up for the generation to come to get them delivered, but you know they don't know that. That's Jake's problem. They're too busy dancing and shit, man. The protest is in honor of Mike, who lost his daughter, Tierra, to the gun violence. 23 years old. An innocent young woman killed by a stray bullet. And I was at a funeral. The kid that was in the casket had been shot. What was his by name? Black and Black Violence, Lee. Lee McCullough. That's correct. Do you want to know something? That was the boyfriend of my daughter that was killed. Wow. Yes. Yes. He was shot and killed three weeks after her. Uh -huh. After she passed. Him. See, I work as I work law enforcement. Every sheriff. I risk my life every day for the citizens in this city, in this county, in this everywhere. And I did everything that I thought was right and possible to raise my daughter, to give her a chance, to shield her from the violence, thinking she doesn't have to worry about the violence that's happening in here, but it still touched my door. And I tell people all the time, it's going to touch your door if you don't get up and do something. It will. It will get to you. Sooner or later, it's going to come to your door. Tierra and Lee Jr. were two young, connected lives lost out of hundreds on the streets of Chicago. Victims of the deadly combination of guns and deprivation that's fueling segregation and prejudice. The realization is that for many, the American dream is now just about survival. To be in Chicago, particularly here in the South Side, I think the toughest thing to have is hope. I'm going to end it off with this scripture. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 39, verse 28. It says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, 
which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance, right? So he, people being gunned down was a spirit that was a spirit that was sent to uh, kill you. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword. Swords can be guns. Punishing the wicked, right? To destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is, right? So, you know, these angels around here that's killing these people, you know, in the form of these guns or stabbings and stuff, are ready whenever the Lord, won't, you know, want to put the hit out. When need is, so I can... And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word, right? So if the Lord, you know, put say you know, he's supposed to be killed, you're going to be killed, man. Ain't you no know, if ands, buts about it. This ain't no um, final destination where, you know, if death miss you the first time and then come back and get you. When the Lord want death to get you, death going to get you. So, you know, with all that being said, um, all praise have us from our shy, that my honor to the elders and the apostles that rule well. Salutations to the brothers that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.